Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and welcome to Ellis Home and Garden. Dean and I are excited to be here to create a fabulous arrangement for you guys. Mother's Day is right around the corner. I cannot believe Easter's on Sunday. Um, so happy early Easter. We won't see you before it's over. Hopefully you have all your decorations out and everything like that and you have some family coming over for maybe a lunch or a dinner or whatever you guys do to celebrate Easter. Um, but we wanted to do a cemetery saddle. Because Mother's Day is coming up, I know a lot of you put uh, fabulous things out by your loved ones' graves. And so I wanted to just do this video to give you guys some inspiration ideas. But even though this is a Mother's Day saddle, Easter is right around the corner. So I thought we'd use some Easter lilies because you could even use this for Easter if you were to put this out um, at the cemetery for Easter. So as y'all join us this morning, uh, y'all leave us a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. And any questions or comments you have throughout the video, drop those down below. And also we want to welcome any new viewers. So if it's your first time viewing, you want to make sure you leave a comment so that we can welcome you into our family here at Ellis Home and Garden uh, that we come to you every Tuesday. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Mine was jam-packed. Let's see, Friday... Um, we had a wedding. Our friend Katie, congratulations to her and her husband Justin. They got married at Justice of the Peace. They just wanted to do something small. So we went to the wedding there and they had the reception at Barron's. But in between all this, last week was crazy here in Longview. I didn't have internet for three days um, and neither did half of Longview fed Longview Cooler Cable. Um, we didn't have any water. Okay, not in Hallsville, but in Longview, they didn't have water for a few days. So it was crazy. And then the wedding reception that was supposed to be at Barron's, it got put on last minute because they closed it, and, you know, because they didn't have any water, but thank God they got it back. So it was crazy. Then Saturday morning we got up and we left. We went to Dallas or Frisco. We went out with Candy, my aunt, and my uncle, and my sister Morgan. And we had a fabulous time on Saturday night. Sunday we got up and we went to lunch with Morgan. And then they, had ne they were Ikea virgins, okay? So they had never been to Ikea, so we, I took them there. And uh, they had a great time. So we had a great afternoon. We got home about 3 o'clock. And I've been on a diet, y'all, since last Monday. I'm so proud of myself because I went out in Dallas and everything, and I stayed on my diet. I'm down 5 pounds. So I'm going to keep going with it. It's making me feel better and have more energy. And so, yeah, keep me in your thoughts, honey. Okay, every time you see a chicken strip, be like, I hope Dylan is not eating that today. Lord. Um, I was going to tell you all something else, too. Let me think what it was. Oh, we've been to Ikea before? Mm-mm. Oh, Dean, it's so cool. It was really cool, guy. I mean, I'd been a long time ago, but we just bought some wine glasses. But they have everything's dirt cheap, and it's, I mean, even the furniture. And they had like light fixtures, like that ceiling fan, for like twenty nine dollars. Yeah, so it was crazy. But anyway, y'all, I hope you're having a great day and ready to get started. So I had got a box here. I know it's unattractive and it don't look good, but I did this so you guys could see the uh, product better, okay, or the arrangement. So I have a cemetery saddle here. This is just a styrofoam block, and then I put it into one of these metal holders. Now these legs or these arms or whatever you want to call them, they bend down over the top of your saddle. So it sits like this, and then you bend the legs down. You can bend them before you make the arrangement, or you can do it after. I'm just going to do it after today. I'm going to lay this right here on this box so you guys can see it better, and then we'll build from there. So the most common greenery used when you do a cemetery piece is always leather leaf. And I want to mention that our item of the week this week is all spring bushes. And there's no percentage off, but they start at $4. So they are deeply discounted. And I have to say, I scanned through them earlier, and I've been buying them already since January. And they're all great quality and great prices. And uh, you can get a lot of bang for your buck, and you can get a lot of usage out of one bush by itself. So I'm going to take my leather leaf. I'm just going to trim down some of the stems. And we're going to start adding this around the perimeter or the base of this uh, saddle. And then we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, every year about this time, I start getting the Christmas bug, okay? I know, like, it's only April and happy Easter, girl, on Sunday. But next month, I start fall and Halloween in my monthly design group for the Divas. And you know what comes after fall and Halloween? And last night, Josh went to take a bath, and I was just sitting on the couch, and I started looking, like, on Pinterest and looking at Christmas ideas because... I'm redoing my store right now, so I wanted to get some ideas. And then I, before I knew it, honey, I had the Christmas music on. Brenda Lee was playing. <laughs> Josh came out of the bathroom, looked at me like I was crazy, which is nothing new. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited, y'all, for the upcoming holidays. I know we don't – I know it's April. It doesn't seem like that far away, but y'all know, as soon as summer gets here, it's like it's full-blown Christmas. Hope y'all are staying um, healthy out there from all the freaking pollen. How are you doing, Dan? Are you choking yet? Yeah. It's My whole car is green. Even in my dash in my car. Like, how's that even happen? But the, 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 by the, the air vents. Yeah. But not a better have a new filter on there after the air conditioner I had to pay for. Okay, y'all put three pieces on each end. We're gonna do five on each side. You could do three, 
cut that is a little sparse in my opinion. So let's, you know, spruce it up a little bit. We are Ellis after all. And we have this fabulous product. And this leather we've got is so inexpensive. Who, somebody just said they were born in December or something. Amanda, I'm a December baby and I always have Christmas for you. Me too, Amanda. That's a good thing about Ellis too is because they get it in early. So we can get a sneak peek and look at it. Okay, I want to share a recipe with y'all. You have a piece of paper? It's only two items, and it's the best thing you're ever going to eat, okay? Do you like tomatoes, Tina? Okay. I don't know if you can eat this. You're going to tell me you're allergic to something. Okay, all you do is you get the crock pot, okay? You put chicken breast in the crock pot, and you put enough Rotel to cover the chicken breast. Put it on low for eight hours. It shreds apart, and you put it in a tortilla and make it like a taco. I did whole wheat tortillas because they're healthier. It was so good. It sounds plain, but season your chicken before you put it in there, like salt, pepper, whatever you want to put on it. But it was so good. My uncle told me about it. And he also told me another one. You do the same thing, but you put chicken uh, chicken breast, and then you put cream of chicken soup in there. Just enough to cover it. Eight hours low, shreds apart, put over rice. Healthy for you. So anyway, if you all ever tried that, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, you've got to. I am so upset I forgot my dark pepper in the car. Keep looking around for it. Oh, Kelly, you're a December baby too. Okay, girl. So if you have made a saddle before, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment. I want to know your feedback. Have you made a saddle before? Dina has never. <clears throat> I like them. And guys, the great thing about this um, base that we're using for the saddle is you can also use it for a mailbox swag. Just put it over your mailbox instead of the cemetery stone. Okay, so once you have all the pieces on the bottom, this is what it should look like. You should have a good uh, base. It should all be even. And you can see the longer points are at the end, of course, because it's the bottom of the saddle. Hi, Pam Elrod. So, here we go. Like I said, this is uh, to give you inspiration for Mother's Day, but honey, please, we are going to do a little Easter on here. So, I've got some Easter lilies. Now, that might not be what these are called. Let's just make sure. Easter lily. Okay, I was right. So, we're going to use these to put on here, get our first layer. And then to finish this off, I've got more leather leaf and I've got some beautiful pink daisy sprays. Remember, all the bushes guys start at four bucks on the website. So let me uh, just go ahead and cut all these off the bush and then we'll go from there. Cynthia, it's got a December birthday. Okay, well all y'all are just partying it up in December. Okay, here's how we start guys. <clears throat> First stem goes at the top in the center of the saddle. And of all the videos that we do here at Ellis, of all the videos I do on Designs by Dylan, of all the videos I do in my group, I get the most feedback, the most response from cemetery work because so many people want to create something for their loved one and they don't know how or they're stumped or intimidated by the, the base or whatever. And I get so many pictures, so I love it. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Oh, well, Pam Ilrod, happy early birthday, honey. Are y'all doing anything fun for Easter? My family's coming over to my house. Morgan's coming in town, and we are cooking hamburgers. I'll be having one with no bun, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. What are y'all doing, Dina? Does your mom usually cook for Easter? Yeah. For dinner or lunch? For lunch. Yeah. Because I'm usually asleep. Does she make a whole spread or something easy? It's kind of a little bold, but it's easy stuff. Yeah. I mean, does she do, like, ham, potatoes, all that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm coming to Dina's house. Forget the hamburgers. That sounds good. Sweet potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay, y'all. I have a poll since we're talking about food and I can't eat carbs. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite dessert? What's yours, Dina? Pecan pie. Oh, I love a pecan pie. I think mine would be a pecan pie too, except, you know, my grandmother was alive. Lemon cake is my favorite, but only she can make a good one. So, um, and, and Ted, um, Ted, guys, a friend of mine too, he makes a really good one. But I do love pecan pie. And Josh, see, you didn't like it because he's like, I don't like all that gooey stuff. I'm like, that's the best part. Oh, yeah. Forget the rest of it. Okay, I'll just drink the caro syrup. Okay, y'all, we're adding in the Easter lilies. Oh, someone Edwards. said cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I just saw that in Edward's frozen dessert thing. They used to make a pecan pie cheesecake and can't find it nowhere anymore. Was it good? It was awesome. Have you had a patty pie? It's good. The, uh, what was it called? Sweet potato pie? Mm -mm. That, okay, I take that back, y'all. My favorite is pumpkin pie, I think. 
with whipped cream, and I can make a killer pumpkin pie. It's the only thing I can bake because you, you can't really screw that up. You just set a timer and you're done. And it doesn't dry out like a cake. So I love pumpkin pie. Oh, Vicky says strawberries and homemade shortcakes. That sounds good. One thing I want to try, which I never have, I've never actually tried a blackberry, I know. Like, I tried a sucker, okay, blackberry, but I want to try blackberry cobbler, because I heard it's the bomb. Do you like it? Okay. And I i don't like peaches, so I've tried peach cobbler, it's just not my fave. But a lot of people say they will choose blackberry cobbler over peach cobbler. Did you? I don't know. Let me go see how many dishes are you using. Guys, I'm going to use probably a total of four, and I know it's hard to see what I'm doing on this side, but I'll flip it around in a minute. But you want to taper down from the top all the way to the edge, okay? And that's how you get that perfect, like, dome shape on your saddle so everything's not like a big square. And you've got this great greenery that's built onto these Easter lily stems. And remember, if you don't like the Easter lilies or you want them to go in a different direction, you can always do that. Just use the stem of your choice. I'm just using these because they have a definite bloom up here. They're not larger like a hydrangea. So you can get a better shaping with something like this. Rosebuds would be perfect, too. And I usually do roses on here, but I thought we're going to change it up because it's Easter. Oh, my God. Fruit pies now, and I'm not a fan of fruit cake. My great-grandmother used to make fruit cakes, honey. They would go in the freezer, and about after 25 years, um, we had 25 of them, and then we threw them out. You know, we, I can't stand fruit cake. Do you like that? It, it varies. My, I like my grandmother's fruit mm. cake. And then one year we found a fruit cake that my mom and I both actually liked. Mm-hmm. And so we, we're looking through it every year. You know what I don't like either is king cake. You guys like king cake? I know if you're from Louisiana or, you know, somewhere, you love it. But I've had different ones, what they consider good ones, what they consider bad ones. And it just wasn't my thing. But I'm sure some of you guys love them. I'd rather just have a good old cinnamon roll. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm adding in my lilies and I'm going to flip this around in just a sec so I can show you all. <laughs> Dylan doesn't like seafood. Oh god no. Somebody said you don't like crawfish. I can't even be in the same room. The smell just I can't. Do you eat those? I don't do crawfish. Mm. Now you take me to Long John Silver's <laughs> I'm sure I can get something but I can't I can't do it. Okay, who's been watching American Idol? What's your thoughts? Last night was the night two of the Hollywood week. Not Hollywood week. The, uh, what's it called? Hawaii is really good. Okay, y'all, see it from the side. How everything is balanced down. Vicki, I feel the same way, honey. So you can see everything is blended in perfectly. You have the tallest one at the top, and then you taper down to the bottom. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to add some more leather leaf, and then we're going to finish out by adding our pink daisy sprays. Remember, all the bushes start at 4 bucks on the website, ellishomelygardens.com. i trying to think what else I've been watching. Oh, we're watching this show, I think I told y'all, on Apple called Severance, about the brain implant. They just had a season finale. I was so stressed after that. It was just... I mean, mind blown. They already got renewed, so we're good to go. You know what I think I watched the other day, Janet? I haven't seen it forever. It's Holes. Have you seen that? You know the Disney show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was on my sister. You know, Morgan lives on Disney. And so uh, we uh, were watching it at her house, and I hadn't seen that in forever. I used to make us read that in school. Are you watching 911 in Lone Star? No, I have it all recorded. I've just got to get caught up. Are you watching Things About Pam with Renee Zellweger? You got to. It's a true story. Lost a bee. Oh no. Okay, so we're just continuing to add our lilies. I'll flip it around again in just a sec to show y'all. So can you eat rotel? It has to be the mild. Yes, yeah, what I get. The hot one and burn you out. I tried it one time in chicken spaghetti. Couldn't even eat it. It's just it. The peppers and stuff. I can't do the peppers in it. Yeah. So I have to do the mild. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. My garden is growing. Okay, you know, I planted four tomato plants. Some of them are cherry, some of them are aroma. And I planted two, one jalapeno and one bell pepper. And they're growing. Josh, 
he's got a whole fence around him outside. Like, what are you doing? It's three pots. But anyway, they're going good. We haven't got no fruit yet. It's only been a week, but or not fruit, vegetables, but you know, hopefully soon. Okay, I've got about four more of these, and I'm going to show you all this side, and then we're going to add in our next hey, Sharita. filler. Sharita, girl, what you doing? You have registered three, okay? Guys, Sharita is the front-end supervisor here at Ellis, and she is fabulous. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, so if y'all come to Ellis in Longview and you see Sharita at the front, then y'all know who she is. If y'all watching Beyond the Edge, I love it. I was telling Dean about it. I know she's got a lot of shows. She's got to work nights, but um, it's got Colton Underwood in it, Lauren Elena, Ebony K. Williams, a bunch of people I don't know, but it's so good, and it's on CBS. Okay. Look how pretty. You see the uniformity? Is that a word? of all of the stems that we added. Okay, so now let's go back to our leather leaf, but here's a little trick for you, okay? These come in long pieces like this. You need to cut those bottom two leaves off. You don't need all that, too big. So I'm gonna cut the bottom two off. So you have a piece that looks like this, and you want to curve these a little, like that, and then you're going to start going in here and filling in. And you want to make sure you get enough in here to where you don't see any of that styrofoam, you know? On cemetery work, you don't use moss or anything to cover the foam because that's just going to get in your way, and it's hard to move around. So have you planted any vegetables yet? Yeah. What have you done? I have tomatoes, green beans. <clears throat> you do green beans in pots? Mm-hmm. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love green beans. Okay. I've got the green beans. I've got cucumber, squash, cantaloupe, and watermelon. You know, I don't know how you or anyone else eats cucumbers. Ugh. Just, mm-mm. I love a pickle, but I can't do a cucumber. Oh, so I made fried squash the other night before the diet in the air fryer. And it tasted just like the, the real thing, but no grease. But my mom can make killer fried squash. Okay, let me get some more of this leather leaf. And I'm going to flip this around and show you all what we've done and how big of a difference just a little bit of this greenery makes. Now, I'd always put a little bit of this throughout your cemetery saddle. But if you're doing this for maybe like a casket spray, because you can use the same base, and you want it to look very realistic and you get a really good budget, then um, use some more realistic greenery like maidenhair fern or something. Or grasses. Grasses are always pretty to stick in your cemetery stuff. Okay, so see, it filled that in. Janet, is the leather leaf added between each lily? Yes, it is. And, I, you know, if you skip one, that's fine. Just make sure you have enough to cover the foam, okay? Okay, we're going to add some more. Well, in Dean's email, tell me about those paint buckets, those five-gallon five oh, yeah. paint buckets. Yeah, I put them in that, mm -hmm. and then I put dowel rods in it, mm -hmm. and I attach wire or string mm -hmm. around it so that the, when it dries up, it has something to cook onto. Mm -hmm. So you can get enough green beans out there to cook like a pot of green beans? How long does that take from the time you put it in there? Like a few months? Yeah. Like into the summer, like June probably? Hmm. Well, my luck, I have the... Right now, I'm fighting with my neighbors. My neighbors are birds, and they are going nuts, and I think they are in my ferns out front, and every time I go out there, I get swarmed, and I ain't playing with them things, okay? So I had a talk with them the other day from a distance, and I was like, listen, Linda, if you want to have your babies, y'all go ahead and, and do your thing, you know, throw on a good movie and go for it. 
but do not make a mess of my patio and do not come after me because I'm not here to hurt your babies. And if they do try to hurt me, they're going to have to go bye-bye. So hopefully they don't. But it is so loud out there. They're making all kinds of noises in the middle of the night. I'm like, girl, you've got to have a break, you know? But, uh, yeah, so me and the birds are not getting along these days. And I was so nice to them. I have a, a freaking fountain. I have a bird feeder. And if they eat my tomatoes, we're done. Okay, like I'll have to, I'll have to get a gun. A little BB gun. Y'all, one time my dad bought me a BB gun for Christmas. I only wouldn't let me have it because she didn't trust me. Because she got me an airsoft gun one time and I shot her <laughs> in the back. So she was like, yeah, you ain't getting no BB gun. So it's still in the box, a Red Rider BB gun in the attic. It was like when that movie came out. What's it called? Christmas Story. I wasn't going to shoot my eye out, but I was definitely going to shoot you in the back. Okay, last little piece, and then we're going to put in our pink, guys. Look at this. So, this could be, this could be a stopping place. Um, if you just wanted to keep it simple, you've got lots of greenery and everything built in. But I want to add a little bit of color because it is fun and Easter's are great for pastels. Norma says, how many stems are you using? Um, I'm using, f I used four whole bushes of the lily. Okay, four bushes of the lily. I used four bushes of leather leaf, and that includes what I started with around the base or the perimeter, and then what I put in between the flowers. And now I've got one bush. I'm going to start with one bush of these pink daisy filler. But I would always get at least four bushes for your main flower. You can always return what you don't use or use it somewhere else. But I'd always rather start on a project and have too much stuff and not enough. Okay, so now these daisy bushes have grass on there too and a little bit of berry. So you get like three things in one. So now you can come down in between. add in your pink and this is going to give you that different layer of greenery but also color and if you don't like pink they come in cream too but I wouldn't put cream with white because you can't see it but you can always take guys mixtures of different stems like if you wanted to do geraniums and sunflowers you could do that and then you'd need two of each one and Rebecca um, will post a shopping list later on in the day with a picture of the completed product. And it will have um, all the items that I used here today and where to purchase them. Well, you purchase them at the website, but um, she'll have like links to them, I think. So it's easier for you guys to locate. Oh, I'm loving this pink. I know y'all can't see it yet, but I'm about to turn it around so y'all can see. So I'm, I'm going to end up using two bushes of the daisies, one basically on each side. y'all look look how pretty the pink is in there with the grasses you can see all that mixed together so you can see half of it has pink and half doesn't so let me get my other bush and let's add that on there now Okay, and then that'll finish this off nicely. Don't forget about the ends of your uh, arrangement down here too. You want to have a little bit of filler in there. And this is going in so easily, but if you have trouble, you can always use a pick machine and you can add it in that way too. So what are y'all serving for your Easter lunches? Leave a comment. We're having burgers, and I'll probably make some sausage and some chips and dip. I like simple so that we can eat on paper plates. I'm not one of those people that pulls out real plates unless you're cutting you a steak. Paper plates all the time anyway, yeah, so. I, I, we eat paper plates every night. Love it. And we eat off a TV tray. 
every night. I don't think I sat at my table one time. Okay, I'm finishing up with my Pink Daisy filler. Got two what more. What would be the cost of a set on that? It's like this one. What would be the cost of a set on that you just like the one you just made at the shop? Um, if you were to make it like buy the materials, probably fifty bucks. And I could be wrong. It could be about sixty, but I'm thinking around fifty because the bushes, some of them start at four dollars. I'm not sure which ones. It's just a variety, but you guys can check them out. But yeah. About 50, 60 bucks, you can get a good saddle. All right, guys, we're all done. Patricia's having chicken sausage shrimp gumbo. That sounds good, Patricia, except for the shrimp. <laughs> I love this, y'all. Hey, Charlotte Dunkel, what's up, gorgeous? I just saw your name on here. No, the kitchen table is meant to collect crap, okay? Um, you just bring boxes in, you bring trash in, you bring the cat in. You just throw it all on the table, and it stays there, and we eat on TV trays. I live for a TV tray. Uh, I could, you know, be dining with, you know, whoever, the princess, and I'd be like, you got a TV tray, girl? Because I'm going to have to go in here and watch my show. All right, guys, so all the products, ellishomeandgarden.com, and they have so much more than what I'm showing you. So you can put this together with your own flair, your own spin, your own assortment of flowers, and get the same result, okay? So um, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week, and happy Easter. Y'all have a safe, healthy Easter with your family. And uh, Dean and I will see you next Tuesday here at Ellis Summer Garden for our next video. All right, bye, y'all. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Happy Easter.